Mr. Chairman, and thank you and Ranking Member Moran for this hearing. Um, thank you, Secretary McDonough, for being here today uh, and also for our recent conversations. And um, just before I talk a little bit about uh, what we've covered in those recent conversations, I just want to reaffirm that it's my understanding that you agree that all Americans uh, should uh, be equal before the law. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, so what we have been talking about in recent weeks is really a major concern to New Hampshire veterans. It's the condition of our Manchester Medical Center. As you know, the Manchester VA Medical Center is 73 years old, and facility maintenance failures have led to the cancellation of many veterans' appointments in just the past few years. So I really appreciate t you taking the time to walk me and Senator Shaheen through the plans that you and your team are working on to ensure that these problems do not continue to recur. I know from our conversation that you and I both care a lot about getting these renovations at Manchester up, yes. up to date and completed. Um, we also talked about the importance of transparency and ensuring that veterans know what is being planned and what they can expect each project, when they can expect each project to be completed. When will you be able to make public a comprehensive plan on projects for the Manchester VA so that veterans will know what to expect? Yeah, thanks, thanks very much for the question and thanks for all the, convert, uh, all the work on this. Uh, our goal would be to be able to make something public uh, this summer, summer of 2023, and by that I mean July or August. Okay, um, and I, you know, I, I I appreciate that, and I think it will be very important to New Hampshire veterans and yes. to our whole community to yes. meet that deadline, if not earlier. Yep. Um, I appreciate the VA's work to complete much-needed repairs at the Manchester VA that were caused by flooding when a pipe burst uh, last year. And I know that your team has been working hard to get these important repairs done as fast as they can. What are the next step beyond these initial repairs to ensure that the Manchester VA is fully renovated to prevent these types of problems in the future? When will the VA start on this work and what is the expected timeline for completion? Yeah, so, uh, you know, the, I'll just talk through a couple of things yeah. here uh, for the record. One is, you know, we're, we're, we need to, many of these renovations are complete guttings of the, yep. the, these facilities. Uh, we're able to fund those through non-recurring maintenance projects. We have minor construction projects on site, including the new women's health, uh, the women's clinic and specialty right. care addition. We do also have a major construction issue on the seismic project on campus. And the plan is to fully renovate the facility floor by floor so that the facility remains in use during those okay. sequential upgrades. Those renovations include removal and replacement of all obsolete utilities. That includes plumbing. Installation of new insulation on exterior walls to prevent the kind of freezing that we've seen. Installation of new windows. Installation of new modern heating, air conditioning, and ventilation systems. Installation of new finishes. And optimized space layout for designed clinical use. Now, here's our approximate schedule. Yeah. Fall of 2023, the fourth floor operating room and the pack U suites uh, will be completed and returned to use. December 2024, the third floor construction will be completed. Spring 2025, the fourth floor construction, which will be partially completed. And then spring 2025, the second floor construction will be completed. Winter 2027, the fifth floor construction completed, and then winter 2026, the sixth floor construction completed. Uh, the women's clinic uh, is expected to be posted uh, for an award uh, this summer uh, and the award granted in the fourth quarter of this year, okay? And then for the women's clinic, the award granted in the fourth quarter of this year, what's the timeline for completion? The timeline for completion, I'm just looking at uh, to make sure. Let me. Can I take that one and yeah. get back to you just to make sure that I give you the, 
the exact number. Yep. Um, no, I, I, and and that's fine. I, what I, of course, am trying to communicate is what we have talked about. Exactly, and I'm sorry, um, I just don't have that number. That, no, right. that's okay. Uh, but let let's get it so we can make yeah. it public to people, yeah. so you all have a timeline yep. uh, to to go by. Um, and I also just think it's really important for people to understand not only the timeline, but that with the overall renovations, what you all are trying to do is make sure that you are repairing this facility to a point where we won't see these kinds of ongoing right. failures, which have really been incredibly disruptive to yep. veterans in New Hampshire. Yep. Thank you. Senator Quick Healing Blumenthal. 